Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's talk about music. For a lot of video games, the soundtrack does a lot of, if not most of the work in setting up the atmosphere for what you experience throughout your playthrough. And it has evolved just as much as the medium it assists. From early chiptune to grand orchestration equal to or even greater than most films, it's really amazing how much variety there actually is. Now of course this list is going to be plenty opinionated by yours truly. However, Music itself is one of the most subjective topics of all, so it's going to be extremely unlikely anyone watching this agrees with me in full. But I'll do my best to at least make my points clear, concise, and fair. So enjoy! Starting off with one of the most well-known soundtracks, picking Skyrim for this list rather than one of its predecessors was actually a difficult choice. Interestingly enough, Oblivion borrows a lot of samples and themes from Morrowind, whilst Skyrim borrows from both. All three are bent on making a soundtrack that instills a sense of immersion in the player. The constant music in the background is incredibly atmospheric and always ambient, almost never taking over, save for when the player is in the heat of battle. But one thing Skyrim has over its predecessors is scope. The soundtrack is much larger and much more diverse than the first two, and never is there a dry or repetitive moment. Every song in this game exudes pure aesthetic and atmosphere. It's simply beautiful, and easily the most therapeutic thing about a good session of Skyrim. Even included is a 42 minute track of nothing but ambiance, and that alone is perfect for initiating a good night's rest. My personal favorite track from the entire OST has to be Wind Guide You, which perfectly exemplifies everything I love about the mood this game conveys in one 7 minute track. Jeremy Soule, you done good. Would it be too soon to put a game from just last year on this list? Well, no, I don't think so. In fact, of every game on this list, this one's soundtrack might be the most underappreciated. Don't get me wrong, it receives plenty of praise, but it honestly shocked me that it wasn't placed up there with the greats. Ori in the Blind Forest has a mood that's both melancholy yet hopeful from start to finish. The world it's in is very mystical, at times grotesque, but always incredibly beautiful, and the music here complements it perfectly. Like many soundtracks, there is a common chord throughout, but it's just so mesmerizing. The entire production in and of itself is like a well-woven story, taking you through so many ranges of emotions. Again, much like the game itself, and wow is it ever memorable. A typical favorite, and certainly one of mine, is Restoring the Light, Facing the Dark, a fast-paced, intense number that plays during one of the first of such moments of the game. The sense of urgency made by such gorgeous instrumentation is somehow much more calming than it is frantic. And that is a big part of what makes this soundtrack one of the best. Now we're getting into some real heavy stuff. It's possibly the most iconic and well-known soundtrack on this list too. For a lot of people, Ocarina of Time, Symphony of the Night, and Final Fantasy VII are the first games that come to mind as the most recognizable soundtracks in gaming. But if not those, I think we can all agree the first Halo is right up there. It's only fitting that one of the most groundbreaking and well-known series in gaming has such an epic musical start. I never even had the chance to play this game until only about five years ago, but even I knew the main theme well before that. And what's amazing is how masterful the rest of it is, hence the song I've been playing up to this point called Brothers in Arms. But if we're being honest, what is arguably the most intense and most important theme in all of video games? Why? It's Halo itself. How could I not play it one more time? As most people know, the series from which Shadow of the Colossus hails is one of my all-time favorites. My excitement for The Last Guardian is something I can barely contain anymore. I need it. Naturally, as I was putting this list together, Shadow was a top contender, as it had many of the most popular boss themes ever conceived, and also my all-time favorite song in any video game ever. But then I remembered Eco. 
The first in the series, and just as somber, quiet, and powerful, some would say, as its ever lauded successor, Eco is a game that presents minimalism at its finest. Heck, the soundtrack is almost non-existent at times, rearing its beautiful head at only the most poignant of scenes. But see, that's what makes it so amazing. Eco is a deeply immersive experience, almost like a book, I feel. It rarely interrupts the player with anything more than simple clues to get you started on your next objective. But those few moments where the music kicks in, it does so with the sole purpose of letting you know how important the very thing you're seeing is. It does so to elevate emotional investment, and it works every single time. But the standout track is without a doubt the final, You Were There, which to this day remains one of the greatest in all of games, with such emotion that can only be shown after you've experienced the game in full. As much as I adore and respect everything we've seen on this list so far, this was another relatively easy top pick, I'm afraid to say. Not because it's necessarily leagues of beyond the rest, but because it perfectly encapsulates how video game music can and should be used to enhance an experience. Because, let's be honest, Journey would have been nothing if it weren't for its soundtrack. By music alone, it was transformed into one of the most important and beloved games of the last decade, and that speaks volumes. Of course it's highly praised. Heck, this is the only game soundtrack to ever be nominated for a Grammy Award. Despite how ludicrous award culture is, that's certainly something. But the music itself conveys so much depth, so much emotion, if you can listen to it in its entirety without being heavily affected, you're a stronger human being than I. Every single track is so powerful. From Road of Trials, to Reclamation, to Atonement, and of course, Apotheosis. Since this game's release, many games have attempted to emulate this kind of substance, portraying mood over anything else. Ori in the Blind Forest was definitely one of those, but to this day, none have done with such effectiveness, and part of me wonders if anyone ever will. I implore you, even if you haven't played this game, sit down and give this soundtrack a listen. It truly is the best of the best. <laughs> 